Yellowstone. 150 years ago today, the United States established the National Park that sparked a desire for more national parks around the world and it sparked my desire to visit all of them. Yellowstone was the first national park in the world and many still believe that it is the best. I am one of these people. To see how important Yellowstone National Park is to me, we must travel back to 2014, to Grand Canyon National Park. This was the first national park I ever visited. I was only 9 years old, and I found the site to be underwhelming. Perhaps this was due to my young age, or maybe I simply did not think the canyon was as beautiful as others said. I was unsure at the time, but a trip to Yellowstone just one year later opened my eyes. Yellowstone National Park has the most diverse array of scenery and activities out of any national park in the United States. It is well known for Old Faithful, an incredible geyser that shoots water over 180 feet into the air. This single attraction draws millions of visitors every year, but many of those visitors are later surprised by all of the other incredible scenery Yellowstone has to offer. From the deep colors of Grand Prismatic Spring, to the massive golden walls of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, to the panoramic mountain vistas along Lake Yellowstone, to the open plains of Lamar and Hayden Valley. There is so much to see in this park. The list continues with Mammoth Hot Springs, North Geyser Basin, Mount Washburn, and many other awe-inspiring scenic areas. Any one of these sites could be the crown jewel of most other national parks, but Yellowstone has dozens of these beautiful locations, making it one of the most unbelievable national parks in terms of scenery. For those who enjoy recreation in a park, Yellowstone has you covered. There are plenty of outfitters that can help a visitor partake in the experience of a lifetime with whitewater rafting, horseback riding, fishing, backpacking, mountain climbing, and snowmobiling. These activities can be done with groups, or in most cases, on your own if that is what your heart desires. These adventurous experiences can be quite exhilarating, but the walking trails of Yellowstone are just as amazing. Short hikes, such as those along the Geyser Basins, provide accessible but beautiful views of the largest concentration of geysers in the world. The mountainous hikes, such as the famous Mount Washburn, are an adventurous paradise. They can be strenuous for some, but the sweeping vistas of the park and nearby Grand Teton National Park are unrivaled. On top of this, the park has locations for swimming, camping, and a whole lot more. However you wish to experience the great outdoors, you can guarantee that Yellowstone is a recreational activity that will more than satisfy you. The scenery and recreation are great, but one other aspect of this park sets it apart from many others. In my experience, no other national park can rival Yellowstone in wildlife. The amount, diversity, and beauty of the plant and animal life here is truly something special. The only park with wildlife that can take my breath away more than the feeding brown bears of Katmai or the dolphins and sea lions of Channel Islands is Yellowstone. A trip to the park will almost certainly include sightings of deer, elk, bald eagles, and the last remaining population of truly wild bison remaining in America. Thousands of people visit Yellowstone just for the chance to see and photograph some of the incredible wildlife of the park. More elusive creatures, such as black bears, Grizzly bears, bighorn sheep, coyotes, and especially gray wolves are a photographer's dream. The park's animals make the experience in Yellowstone feel truly wild, as you almost connect with these stunning creatures. The wildlife is truly one of the most special parts of a trip to Yellowstone National Park. My first trip to Yellowstone was the trip that sparked my interest in national parks. Before this, I had been underwhelmed by the Grand Canyon, and found that the Everglades were a bit too close to similar scenery I had known my whole life. Yellowstone has something completely different. 
Seeing bubbling pools of water of every color was new to me and remains one of the most beautiful arrays of scenery I have ever laid eyes upon. Geothermal features such as hot springs, cauldrons, pools, and geysers are some of the most fascinating natural sights anywhere on earth. Being surrounded by stunning wildlife at every turn and being floored by every piece of scenery in the park was an incredible experience. This led to me making it a goal to visit every national park in America. In fact, Yellowstone led to me revisiting the Grand Canyon and doing an inner canyon hike. The Grand Canyon is now one of my favorite national parks in America. Even after visiting 60 beautiful national parks besides Yellowstone, from the massive granite peaks of Yosemite, to the vast orange canyons of Zion, to the tremendous mountains of Denali, the park that remained the best of them all is the one that sparked my interest and it's the one I hold closest to my heart, Yellowstone. Recently, Yellowstone has become quite well known for being a super volcano. As the park has the largest concentration of geothermal features in the world, it is sitting on a caldera. If it were to erupt, it would be one of the largest and most devastating volcanic eruptions in modern history. Scientists have studied the likelihood of an eruption, and it has been deemed highly unlikely. Even so, the prospect of a deadly volcanic eruption does not deter visitors. The park still gets more than 4 million visitors a year, who enjoy viewing the incredible geothermal features that could one day endanger the area. For me, it will always be worth it to visit Yellowstone, even knowing about the possibility of a major eruption. It is just that amazing. The history of Yellowstone National Park is quite fascinating. Looking back to 1872, when it was first established by Ulysses S. Grant under the Yellowstone National Park Protection Act. This was mainly done as travelers heading west in the time found the beautiful scenery and many who were artists were quite floored. The park was a major destination for people who were able to make the difficult trek out. Now, the park caters to over 4 million visitors every year, people coming by plane, car, and other modes of transportation. Yellowstone is not convenient to major cities, so it is a true escape from the major developed city life that many enjoy. However, the nature of it is truly something special. Being out in the wilderness, even when many others are around, can be a very wild and incredible experience. Lately, the park has had to cater to very large crowds. We notice that large amounts of people come in every day, and a lot of those people are much more used to a city life. So the park has recently been building up a bit. There have been more hotels, somewhat towns being built around Mammoth Hot Springs, Old Faithful, and the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. This is something that has unfortunately turned a few hardcore adventurers off. Some people are quite upset to see Yellowstone becoming too accessible to the public. I can understand this. I do think the cities are a bit much. However, they are not intruding upon the stunning scenery of Yellowstone or the wildlife, and I feel that even with large crowds, it is difficult to not enjoy your time in this park as there is so much to see, do, and enjoy. And the park continues to be my favorite even as more and more people come to the park. After all, people only go to a place and make it popular if they know it's good. And Yellowstone is crowded because of how spectacular it is. Keep close to nature's heart and break clear away once in a while and climb a mountain or spend a week in the woods. Wash your spirit clean. John Muir Yellowstone is a special location that brought me into a whole new world of natural beauty. Ever since visiting Yellowstone, I have made as many trips to national parks as I can to enjoy what truly is America's best idea. 
if not for Yellowstone being designated as a national park 150 years ago. It is possible that some of the beautiful natural sites currently protected by the National Park Service would not be preserved today. Yellowstone marked the creation of national parks, which can now be found all around the world. From the savannas of Africa to the waterfalls of Brazil, there are many amazing national parks all around the world. On March 1, 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant designated Yellowstone National Park as the first national park in the world. It would preserve the natural beauty and scenery and wildlife for generations to come. The past 150 years have been incredible for those who are impressed by nature. The park now attracts millions of visitors every year, many of which may breeze through the park quickly. However, many still take their time as they enjoy all of the remarkable things to see and do in this park. Yellowstone, happy 150th birthday. And thank you for sparking the interest in national parks that has become such a major part of my life. Here's to an amazing 150 year legacy and one that will continue for years to come.